A lot of Christians mistakenly believe that if they read the Bible more and become more biblical, they will be closer to God. But I can tell you from personal experience that I was not getting closer to God even though I went to Bible college, I was getting my degree in biblical literature, I was a pastor at a Baptist church, I was leading Bible study, I was already, of course, a Christian, and I was doing everything in my power to know the Bible. During the time that I was in college and working in church, I was spending probably eight hours a day or more reading the Bible or reading something Bible-related. But during this time, I was becoming more and more distant from God. And even though I would pray and say, God, what is wrong? Why is it that I don't feel your peace that passes all understanding? Why don't I feel like I'm connected to you? Why is it that if I'm doing everything that I should, I don't feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be? And it wasn't until I repented of sin that was in my life and came out from the church and left the church in the dust that then I had peace that passes all understanding from God and came into a genuine relationship with my Father in heaven. I can say today that I have the peace that passes all understanding. I have Jesus' love in me, his truth, his righteousness. His words go through me. I feel him sustaining me. I'm washed clean in his blood. But I couldn't say this 15, 20 years ago. Even though I was a Christian, born in a Christian household, even though I read the Bible all the time, I only grew more distant from God. So I want to tell you that you cannot get closer to God by becoming more biblical. Rather, you need to repent of your sins and receive the Holy Spirit. Jesus said that unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. And also, unless you receive the Holy Spirit and are connected to the vine, you are a branch that is disconnected from God, even if you're reading the Bible 8 or 10 or 24 hours a day. It's not going to matter to your soul's destination. The Pharisees, I suppose, more than anyone, read the Bible or the scriptures and knew it. Yet they rejected Jesus. They thought they had the truth, but they couldn't even tell the truth when it was right in front of them. The same are the Christians, the pastors, the leaders of the church today. Even though they have the seminaries, even though they have what they believe correct doctrine, even though they have the scripture, their Bible, they don't have the peace that passes all understanding. They don't have true knowledge from God. They search the scriptures, for in the scriptures they think they have life. But they refuse to come to Jesus Christ to obey him and to really overcome. Do you know Jesus in your heart? Have you received his Holy Spirit? Have you been born of water and the Spirit? Or are you like the Christians who are depressed, who are empty on the inside, even though they're feasting on the Bible? May the grace of Jesus be with you.